So as promised, this is the third video in our series of covering the Zonsen engines. And in this video, we'll specifically only focus on each of the Zonsen models. If you like what we are doing, please like and subscribe. Do comment below. We'll try and answer those questions for you. We also have two other videos. As I said, this is the third one. Please uh, have a look at the other two videos covering the, um, the general aspects of the Zonsen engine, as well as the second video where Dylan uh, ran you guys through the turbocharging and upgrading of the engine to a KFA 135 horsepower engine. So let's dive into this one. Zonsen has got nine engines in this series. These are all horizontally opposed four-stroke, four-cylinder engines. Um, they do have other engines uh, for PPG and uh, for the smaller trikes, single-seaters and so on, but I will not be covering those engines. Uh, Zonsen also produces a propeller, variable pitch 1.92 I believe is the diameter. Um, but once again, we haven't tested the propeller, we'll get a propeller, we'll test it and then we'll do a review on that propeller as well. Let's take these engines one by one. We'll be posting the uh, brochure on the screen and you guys can pause and have a look at the technical specifications of each of these engines. So the first one, I'll be covering them from the uh, largest engine to the smallest engine. The first engine on the list is called the CA550T. Now this engine is a 145 horsepower turbocharged engine with carburetors. The engine displacement is 1417 cc's and the dry weight of this engine is 80 kilogram. The TBO is set at 2000 hours. The engine also runs on normal 95 and what makes this engine a little bit different is that the block is not air cooled. So the cylinder barrels and the cylinder heads are both water cooled. Moving on to the next engine, it's the same base engine as the 550T, but this is the 550Ti, which as the name implies is a fuel injected version of the same engine. This engine is 2.5 kilograms heavier than the T due to the fuel injection systems and this engine comes in at 82.5 kilograms which i still think is a is quite a light engine uh, the same goes for this engine it is water cooled on both the cylinders and the barrels the only difference is this one comes with a 1000 hour tbo and the reason for this is uh, zonsen first wants to build up more fleet hours on the fuel injected systems and then they will increase the tbo of this engine to 2000 as well you know seeing that the base engine is identical to the CA550T, uh, there's no reason why this won't increase uh, in the near future. Moving on to the next engine, uh, this is a different engine. So this is a 1211 cc engine and it's called the CA520T. Now the CA520T is 115 horsepower. The TBO on this engine is 2000 hours and the dry weight is 74.5 kilograms. Now this engine is water cooled on the cylinder head and air cooled on the barrel. Now this same engine has got a fuel injected version. It is called the CA520Ti. Now this is a 115 horsepower port fuel injected engine. The engine weighs in at 73 kilograms, which is one and a half kilograms lighter than the carbureted version. And this engine also has a 1000 hour TBO. The cylinder heads and the barrel are both uh, water-cooled and air-cooled, as with the other previous model of the 520T. So the next model on our list is an engine which I personally want to try very soon. It is a CA510i. Now, as the name suggests, it's a fuel-injected version of the 550. It is 1,417 cc's and it's 109 horsepower uh, electronic fuel-injected uh, engine. The dry weight of this engine is quite light at 63 kilograms and it's got a 2000 hour TBO straight out the block. Now this engine is also the water-cooled version of the barrel and the cylinder head. The next engine is the CA510. This is a carbureted version of the CA510i. Also 109 horsepower, the same capacity 1417 cc's um, the engine weighs 63.5 kilograms, so not too heavy. Uh, it has a 2000 hour TBO. 
Then the next engine uh, is a fuel injected version of the one that we covered in the previous video which is uh, the CA500i. This is 1353 cc, 100 horsepower engine with electronic fuel injection. The dry weight of this engine is 61.8 kilograms. The TBO is 2000 hours and the cylinder head in this one is water cooled and the, um, the barrel is air cooled. Then we have the same engine in a carbureted version and it's also 100 horsepower, it's called the CA500 and as I mentioned we've covered this in the first video in this series. It is 1,352 or 53 cc's displacement and the dry weight is 61.8 kilograms. Now this is also a water-cooled uh, cylinder head and a air-cooled barrel. Uh, the TBO on this engine is also 2,000 hours. So the last engine on this list is the CA300. So the CA300 is a 80 horsepower naturally aspirated carbureted engine. The engine is displacement is 1211 cc and the dry weight is 62.3 kilograms. The TBO on the CA300 is 2000 hours and like all of these engines they run on normal 95 MOGAS. So for the Customers in the Southern African region, I'll post a link to our shop down below. Um, have a look at our pricing. We are running a special at the moment where if you buy uh, any of these Zonsen engines from us, we will include the extended warranty, which is a 36 month, 500 hour factory warranty from Zonsen. Uh, these engines come standard with a 24 month, 300 hour warranty. Um, which is already a very very good warranty out there. I will be doing another video uh, in a short while where we'll be covering the 135 horsepower Zonsen based KFA engine uh, which we've installed in one of our KFA Explorer aircraft. I've done some hours on that now and I will give you guys some feedback uh, on that engine and the performance, uh, any issues we've had and so on. As I said, this will be an open and honest review about everything. Um, so yeah, we'll see you in the next one.